Hello, my name is Metin Sitte. Uh, I'm a director at Max Planck Institute for Intelligent Systems in Stuttgart, Germany. When Berlin Wall fell, I was a student in Boğaziçi University in Istanbul, Turkey. I remember we were so excited to hear the news that Berlin Wall finally fell. When I was a kid, I loved to observe animals in the sense of how they move and behave in nature. My dream came true. Now in my research, I get inspiration by animals in nature and I create new soft medical robots to operate in complex environments like animals. And at the same time, using these new innovative robots, I try to understand these animals better. My research breaks the wall to wireless medical devices inside our body. Inspired by the Fantastic Voyage movie in 1966, uh, our dream has been creating tiny medical machines that can operate inside our body all the time for medical diagnostics and treatment. Uh, so far, such dream has not been uh, realized and our goal is now with our new technology and ideas to achieve such dream and enable tiny medical devices inside our body that can uh, non-invasively and safely uh, treat and diagnose our diseases. We, for the first time, demonstrate a tiny soft medical robot that can navigate inside the complex regions of our body using seven different locomotion modalities. If you look at nature and soft-bodied small organisms, they only don't walk or roll or jump or swim, but they do all of these locomotion behavior at the same time in the same animal's body to survive in complex environments. Inspired by such biological organisms' uh, motion behavior in different media, we got inspiration and we designed and built a new soft robot that is in this mini size scale that has a very special program micromagnet inside that we have designed and fabricated in some complex methods that remote magnetic fields can change the shape of this tiny soft robot which we call warm mate and then uh, we can have all different locomotion modalities like walking, rolling, jumping, swimming and going on the water surface type of behavior for the first time on the same robot. That way our robot could move in all different regions inside our body for the first time. As a second advantage of shape programming of such soft bodied robot is to induce and create and design new functionalities. For example, by shape change of the robot, we can grasp drugs and objects and transport them into a desired location and release them for, for example, targeted drug delivery. Also, the same soft robots can be in different morphologies like a baby jellyfish, more specialized body shape that we can program, again, magnetic properties of this type of soft bodied robot that we can control from outside uh, their shape deformations to swim and efficiently do functions like uh, blood vessel clogging and also transporting and delivering uh, cargoes like drugs in target areas. Also, we have other tiny soft robot designs recently, which is a soft capsule, which is only five micron scale that is almost not visible by eye, can go in liquid regions of our body and roll on the surfaces and with remote control wirelessly, they can deliver liquid drug on the right target region. Also, the same robot can do liquid biopsy so that we can get some liquid samples inside our body, which are not possible to get in the past ever by any other techniques. Therefore, these tiny sought medical devices will revolutionize healthcare in the sense of having non-invasive medical diagnosis and treatment in very complex and hard to reach regions of our body for even some uncurable diseases. Our tiny wireless medical robots will improve our society's welfare by revolutionizing medical device technology. These wireless tiny robots can be implanted in our body and can all the time monitor and treat diseases 
with almost no side effects and very precise and controlled way of treating diseases and also letting us know diseases at much earlier stages. This way we can save more lives of patients and make our lives much more comfortable and with less pain. For our very tiny wireless soft robots, it's very challenging to navigate inside our body and function properly for a long time because our body immune system and also body motions and fluidic flows in our body can change their position in many different ways than we imagine. That's why currently we are trying to use medical imaging modalities to track and control our robots precisely with all these dynamic effects from the environment so that they can operate for a long time without losing their functions. So we have very promising results and we are working on them to solve fully so that we can guarantee the safety of the patients while our devices are fully functional.